Hello Aries, I'm Susie from The Gift 202 and I'm here to read your cards, see what the energies are for the week of the June the 21st, the summer solstice. Go outside, put your feet in the grass, um, when the crack of dawn I think you have to do. Um, so I'm just going to shuffle away and ask the universe, angels and spirits to come down and throw some cards on the table for Aries. What would the universe angels and spirits like Aries to know for the week of the 21st of June? One, two, three, four, Aries, Aries, 21st of June for the week of the 21st of June. Week of the 21st of June for Aries, Aries, Aries. It's a long shuffle, Aries. Sorry, angels. One, two, three, four. Aries, the 21st of June. 21st of June. Would you like Aries to know? strength upright and sideways so uh five of cups can't make up your mind someone can't make up their mind king of wands on the bottom of the deck it's your element so five of cups with the lovers she's chased him away through jealousy now someone's trying to make up their mind with who they want um basically and it's like confusion there's a confusion in love you can't make up your mind what you want you don't, there's a lot of options here. What do you do? Who do you want? Okay. You really want to just follow your path and be on your own. This is a knowledgeable card. You've got the wisdom. You're about to get offered some kind of new stability. It could be a new job. Um, something surprising. A gift could be a ring even. Uh, it's just this confusion in, in love. Who do you choose? What shall I do? It's a Gemini card, the lovers. The Hermit's a Virgo card. Someone could be contemplating choosing you. The Five of Cups, a hindrance. There was a jealousy without foundation, inability to make up your mind, resulting in delay and avoidance of responsibility. So you haven't got anything to grab hold of. And it's telling you with the Seven of Cups, you've got to grab hold of something in the air. And you've got to bring it down. You've got to concentrate on it with the Hermit, with the light at the end of the tunnel. Follow what you are doing in the beginning, before this confusion in love, before there was too many choices or you didn't know what you wanted. You need to pull one thing down and focus on it with unwavering faith. You've got this Virgo card, they're detailed, this another earth sign here. So with the queen of pentacles, own your sensuality, own who you are and how you earn your money. Okay, don't let love or options of love confuse you, I would say, right? I, I would keep following that. She holds grapes. She has a very sexy dress on. She's very sensual. She's earthed. So she, she looks, she could plant things in the garden and make them grow. And she, she holds thought. She holds the foundation of what we're all standing on, which is the earth. But Taurus card, very sensual. But she's clever and she likes to, likes money and likes to buy nice things and they feel nice things taste nice things um there could be a point where obviously you need to pay off some bills this week with this five of pentacles if you can pay a few things off and again you might feel alone about this 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 meditation maybe no one's talking to you maybe they didn't you feel they didn't choose you but i don't think that's it i think you're just concentrating on trying to establish yourself and ground yourself here so you're falling in love with meditation or falling in love with the fact that you're on your own um you're going to have justice here you're going to bring about a just situation it could be a tax rebate um 
it's kind of like you there's lots of earth here so it's like you're more concentrating on the the detail of things um and, and or a legal something like it's going to go back in your fate in, in your favor there's a balance here she's wise she's telling the truth it's all about the truth so you might take some if someone comes to offer you something in love and it confuses you a bit Stay very grounded. Like the, on the solstice, people go out in the, at dawn, the crack of dawn, and they put their bare feet in the grass and the dew is supposed to be really uh, healing and lucky. So if you can do that on the 21st, which is tomorrow morning for me, um, do that. You're going to feel maybe a little bit left out of love, but... There might be a new beginning with work. You've got the strength as your last card. So you're getting out of your confine. Uh, you've got a lot of strength. You're the lion, you're the king of the jungle. It's a Leo card. It's like, well, I'm still on stage here. I'm still king of the jungle. Whether, but because you, you, you decided to be on your own in love, there's this certain power, a certain truth and certain power that you get to get out of your confine, to get out of your environment here. Once you've paid off this bill or this, you, you're you offered some kind of job, some kind of gift this week of money. Um, but love, someone's choosing you. They're watching. I, I feel I'm feeling that. And they can, if there's someone else, they're confused. Do they choose? Who do you choose? What shall I do? Do I choose Aries or does Aries choose them? What Do you want to move in with this person? Do you want them to marry you? Do you want kids with this person? There's a lot of options here. What was the wise thing to do? The hermit that leads you through the tunnel to the light at the end of the tunnel. This is the light and it's a focus. Focus on the coin this week, Aries. You will be the queen of pentacles and a lot of people will want you, but there's business to sort out. You need to meditate to, to like think about love. And is it justified that this person they've you've they might have treated you as an option, you know, or are you gonna be strong to get out of this fight this um the fear of being being on your own in a cave even of the ego to get out and start meeting other people at the end of this week and I think you are you're gonna have the strength to do it there is this king of wands it's a passionate businessman something legal it goes in your favor this week you're just going to have to, maybe, you might even get a migraine or something where you have to lay down for two days. I always see two days with a four of swords. It's like a sick bed. But it's like in that two days while you're laying down, something legally justified comes about for you. And it's like, wow, this is like the best thing that could have happened. I feel really strong after that lay down or that meditation or that money coming in from a tax rebate. And I have not had to do anything about it. Um, you might be contemplating this offer from this Queen of Pentacles. Could be a work from home with that hermit. Let's ask the romance angels, what would you like Aries to know for the week of? It's just... See, you've got to make a choice. But that five of cups is inability to make up your mind because you don't have enough information. So you you might not have enough information about someone that's offering you a, a love uh, offer. And it's like, are they lying? Um, or am I, I'll just hone in on myself for a little while still. I'm going to be offered this gift of money. It's going to make me feel like a queen of pentacles holding my fort, got the grounding. It could, you might think, right, but I do need to pay off some bills, right? I do feel a little bit left out of love, but I can't accept that love because this is a liar as well. It's pie in the sky. Nothing comes to fruition with the cups here. So concentrate on your 
wisdom, your mental, your focus of your and your meditation, because it's going to bring about. And I always see this justice when I look at the floor. It's a chessboard to me. You, it's a you feel like a pawn in a game, but this justice sorts it out, and you acquire this strength, and you're like, ah, I'm I'm the king of the jungle. I've meditated, I've took my time out, I've paid off those little bills. I can now maybe entertain this king of wands. But he does have the five of wands under there, look, which is people trying to push you off your path. Hold your, stand your ground, hold your fort. Do baths, she's very sensual. Do things for your body, eat the right grapes. And she's got even holding the grape, you know. she's She makes things all... Se sensual and sexy the queen of pentacles she loves the home and the earth and the animals and but then she's she's a bull she's a taurus so she's slow she's steady be slow be steady pay off your bills do the right thing and at the end of this week when you get out of that confine when you're strong enough, then make your choice. Then you're gonna have you'll you'll feel better in making your choice. And even if someone asks you to come, you know, do you want to come out a date with me? Say, I do. But if you can wait a week, then you can really get yourself meditated and balanced with those scales and the justice. Be very strong if there's anything legal. So you'll be thinking a lot. There's lots of thinking of, about love. Am I an option for that person? Should I just stay where I am? Angels, spirit guides. It's like owning your worth, Aries, I'd say this week. Just own your worth. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Yeah, try if I don't know if they'll be talking. I can't see this talking because of the four of swords. It's like you want to be on your own. <sighs> Maybe if that's what he's saying, don't be on your own. Let go of the control. Have these conversations. But if someone wants you, you need to own that. Own it. Angels, romance angels, what would you like? Aries, no. So some, I think someone's making a choice on you, Aries, and you're being this hermit. There's a new choice this beginning. A woman could even give you some money. An earth sign. Maybe you feel you're not good enough or you don't have enough money for this venture. So you have to take time. You take time out in love. But there is a justice here. There's a fairness here. And you've got to be strong enough to allow love in, maybe. Angels, spirit guides, what would you like Aries to know? Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Deception. Someone is wearing a full self mask in this relationship and engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Stand your ground. Stand your ground. This person, this person really wants you, but they're not sure what they want. And you need to be sure what you want from them. Um, just have conversations. Let go of the control. Be playful. If you wait long enough and there's deception, this person will hang themselves and you'll get justice and then you get strength over this situation. So that in love, just just be mellow. Don't don't talk too quickly. Think about what you're gonna do next. Angels, spirit guides. I know it says let go of control issues, but I know my cards. And when you get the four of swords in the love area, it's like take time out. Just time out for you. Peace. Peace comes from remembering that only love is real. And to help this situation, see the other person's point of view with compassion. Someone's making a choice. 
I can see they're making a choice between two people, angels, spirit guides, and you're quite on top of your game. You're holding your fort here, you're standing your ground, but you still feel a little bit left out. I'd say wait a little while, let someone go and make their choice. And then have a conversation at the end of the week with this strength card when you feel better. Change in direction. God's sake. The changes you're experiencing are divinely directed by your newborn willingness to open your heart to love and our guidance. You are protected now and in the future, so follow your path to the happy outcome you deserve. To peace, compassion, playfulness. Getting to know each other and let go. This could lead to an engagement. I did see some, this ring here with the Ace of Pentacles. Someone's making a choice on you or you're making a choice on someone else. Just the Queen of Pentacles likes to control things because she likes to have money and, and earthiness and things. You're going to get justice this week, Aries, and you're going to be feel very strong at the end of this week. But in love, wait some time out. I don't, I don't know. I it's not controlling. It's just <sighs> say to this person, "I'll meet you next week or in a week's time when you're feeling strong, so you have time." This person might want to come at you, but they're still making a choice between these two women. Look. That's okay. Aries, I've been Susie from the Gift of Two. <laughs> Please like, share and subscribe. And it's summer solstice, so take care of yourself. New beginnings this week. Okay, bye-bye.